Mondays, Mondays, Mondays. If you hate your Mondays, you are definitely in the wrong job. And what a nice day. Don't you think that when the weather is nice and sunny, it feels like there are more colors out there in the world? It's exactly the same with data. When you visualize your data, it feels like there is more information coming your way. So the goal this week, take data and turn it into information. Information into insights. Insights into actions. Let the week begin. All I'm trying to say is that you can't look as a set of numbers in isolation. Let me give you an example. Two, three months ago, a client of mine was absolutely convinced that the number of organic visits is a good KPI. But then the sales were going down. His content is good, very educational, so he was attracting a lot of organic visits. But then he was attracting the wrong crowd and he didn't have a clear call to action. So what was good for the SEO team was not good for the overall business. Let me make this example let me make this one a little bit more visual for you with another example. If you look outside and you see, and you see it's raining, all you know is that it's raining. But if I tell you that it's been raining for a whole month and the temperatures are close to zero, you pretty much know what season I'm talking about. Rob, instead of arguing about it, why don't you look at the picture I sent you on your mobile? Yes, forget about the numbers. The blue color is the number of pages that didn't have even one single organic visit for the last 12 months. And tell me what you think about it. Do you really want to keep those pages? <laughs> I tried to tell me that I managed to convince you with the simplest form on earth, a circle. So I'm gonna come up with a quote right away. In SEO, presentations or speeches, less is really more. Last night, I was watching a hangout on air with Mr. David Amerlan and believe it or not, this morning, I woke up with a quote in my head. Creating content for your online brand or business has nothing to do with making more time or coming up with new ideas. You simply have to start creating content. I know a lot of you are worried that you're probably not good because you're in the beginning of the journey. So let me be honest with you, you're probably not good. But that's okay. The real failure 
is never starting in the first place. Whatever um, reservations you may have, overcome them quickly. The web is visual, whether we like it or not. Um, more than 50% of the content is consumed on devices. There, and usually there, there are phones. They're notoriously difficult when it comes to reading a lot of text. They're very easy when it comes to actually watching video. So bear that in mind, it's a massive audience out there. It's an easy way to connect with them. As long as you're real, as long as you provide value, they will find it appealing. And, you know, as Oleg said, whatever reservations you may have, well, these are not the Oscars. You're not going for a movie performance. You're trying to deliver value to an audience like you would to a person if you came up and met them face to face. So if you approach it that way, you really can't go wrong. On my way to a team building event, some quite pumped about it. Or like somebody said before, the strength of the team is each member. The strength of each member is indeed the team. Indeed, the problem was that your content team couldn't understand the numbers. So yeah, yesterday I sent them a graph, SEO visits against page depth. If you look at the, if you look at the graph, yeah, it's quite obvious straight away that you shouldn't be publishing content beyond page depth five. If I was you, I would even consider merging three and four. On the other side, why do we even send numbers to, to your content team? Those are visual people, right? Uh, in fact, I emailed them yesterday. Yes, I emailed them yesterday and today Peter came back to me with an email with only one sentence. I get it now. We should always try and think about the people that are looking at the data we are trying to present. Last night I was out till 3 o'clock, but today is Saturday morning. I'm coming to the gym. You don't demand respect. You earn it. Guys, I don't know about you, but it feels like we all suffer from data overload. The problem, we are not all data analysts. But in today's digital world, we are all required to analyze numbers, find problems, and come up with solutions. The good news is, there is a solution to the problem called data visualization. Or in other words, using our eyes more to see patterns and connections that matter. Guys, I know it's Sunday, but I have to go and see a client. But you do come back here next Sunday, because you've got the problems and I've got the solutions. <laughs>